Hey guys, John Thomas here. And at Streams Ministries, we are asked often what different things might mean in dreams. So I want to talk about what numbers might mean in dreams. <laughs> numbers, we could probably talk for a very long time. There's so many different possibilities. You, you have the metaphor of numbers that where numbers would represent something symbolic. You, you have a literal meaning. Sometimes it's a literal thing. Like Joseph, he, he has, well, excuse me, it wasn't Joseph that had the dream, but he interprets Pharaoh's dream where Pharaoh sees the, the seven cows, the seven fat and the seven skinny, and then the, the seven fat and the seven skinny of the, the heads of grain. And they were talking about seven years. So it was literally counting something. You, you have the the, the, the literal meaning that can sometimes comes. And then you have like this weird hidden meaning that God will sometimes put in dreams. And sometimes it, it's literal, but it's not obvious. Like a, a number that might represent a house number or that might represent a strong concordance. I remember talking with a friend of mine once that would often get numbers, three or four digit numbers and, and took him a long time to figure out what to do because he tried to add them together and see if they would mean anything, tried to look at them as Bible verses, and that didn't make any sense. But then he would started looking up Strong's, and he would look up the number in the Greek and in the Hebrew and see if it would fit. And sometimes it would be the definition of a word. It would be a particular word, and the definition would be the message that God was communicating through that number. Another one that's really common is you get three or four digits and they, they're talking about a Bible verse. Maybe it's the chapter in the verse of a particular uh, Bible verse. Now, one of the things that I've noticed, I don't know why, but I've just seen this pattern again and again, is often when it's a Bible verse, it's usually Isaiah or it's the Gospel of John or it's Psalms. It's usually in that order. Those are the first three that I look at. Now, I, I know Isaiah's got 66 chapters, so that gives a lot of options. You know, John has got 20, 21 chapters or 22 chapters. So there's a few options. Psalms, obviously, 150 chapters. So there's a lot of possibilities that are there. But what I'll do is I'll just start looking it up. Let's say I see um, you know, 418 in a dream. And so I will take a look. Well, chapter four, verse 18. Well, what does that say in Isaiah? Hmm, man, no, it doesn't really fit. Well, what does it say in John? No, it doesn't really fit. What does it say in the Psalms? No, there's not actually 18 verses in Psalms four. I don't know if there is or not. I'm just making that up. But then I'll just start looking. Well, well, what about Luke 418? Luke 418. Well, the spirit of the sovereign Lord is upon you because he has anointed you to preach good news. That's it. God's been talking about this anointing that he's put on me so I can proclaim something. All of a sudden, it, it resonates with your spirit and you recognize that's what God is saying. So you're not just trying to figure it out. You're looking for the spirit to resonate with it, but you look at all the different options and when you feel that yes of the spirit, that's when you say, ah, that's what it means. Now, Let's go back to the metaphoric meaning of dreams because sometimes that metaphor can get interesting. And, and, and I want to encourage you that you do not have to have some type of mystic cipher to be able to figure out what, what numbers mean in dreams. Now, number one, just look at scripture because there are so many things. Now, some of it's hidden. You've got to learn how to read the white, as we've been told. It's not just the, the letters that are written, which is the black, but what's behind the letters. So let, let's look at a couple common ones. The number seven. Now, seven is used throughout scripture. There are so many, there's more sevens in scripture than any other number pattern that I've found. There's seven pieces of furniture, seven days of creation, seven redemptive gifts. The book of Revelation is split up into seven, seven bowls and seven trumpets and seven angels and seven churches and seven letters and seven seals. And you, you have again and again, the number seven, and those are just a couple of them. We could go for, for probably an hour talking about sevens. What does seven represent? It often represents completion or fullness. One of the keys you find even in the book of Revelation is sevens. When it goes in the sevens, it goes seven, and then the seventh is actually starts the next seven. 
So the seven seals, the seventh actually starts, I think it's the bulls is next or the, the trumpets it's next. And, and you find that this, this pattern, so it completes something, it finishes something. God put seven days in a week and then, then creation was completed after seven. And that's also why eight will often represent new beginnings because eight is the first day of the second week. It's the new beginning. This thing has been completed and now it's time to start something new. So look for those patterns in scripture. 12, 12 talks about government. Jesus talked about 12 thrones that would rule over Israel. There were 12 of the patriarchs that were the 12 tribes. And then there were 12 apostles that represented the spiritual government. So you have 12 that could represent government or the apostolic because there were 12 apostles that Jesus had during his earthly ministry that he assigned as apostles. Now, there's obviously more than 12 apostles in scripture, but Jesus assigned that. So that number can represent that. It could represent the government of God, could represent the apostolic. The number 13, we, we often will say that 13 talks about the rebellion, but why, why would we say that 13 represents rebellion? Well, it's in scripture, but this one's a little bit hidden. Do you realize that after Abraham went into Hagar and birthed Ishmael, it was 13 years before God spoke to him again? Interesting, because he took things into his own hand. He did it his own way. He did it out of rebellion. It was 13 years. And so that number can represent rebellion. Look for patterns like that. And there's a lot more that we could talk about. And, and looking about three, talking about God being the Trinity, or, or two, talking about multiplication or division, that things are being separated into two, or, or two things are coming together looking for these patterns. And as you find these patterns, develop your understanding, but hold on to it loosely because God can give you a meaning for a number that doesn't make any sense to you. But if God said it, then that's what you get to go with. So you need to pay attention to what God is saying. So numbers, now that is an interesting dream element. 